what do yes. you think uh, i know most people talk about finances because what you do in the usa probably sweep the streets and what they will pay you is more than even what somebody who is doing a white collar job in africa is doing and since people want to work very fast to earn a living to get a comfortable life everybody's going to prefer no not everybody but majority are going to prefer to go to the us where they would work um, just a, a normal job that everybody would do here, but we earn 10 times than what people here are living in. So even if you tell, say that why people are crossing the sea, they will tell you what they are struggling to gain. And tell us some of the advantages that are there and why do you, what, what can be done, not why people travel. We cannot say why people travel because uh, if it's for holiday, it's different, but we know majority of them go for greener pastures. What can be done Get in the <clears> continent <throat> in order to make people stay? One of the things people always complain about is leadership. Apart from that, what else can these leaders do or can people do in order for them to stay back home and probably see things differently and things work for them? Because if you're here and things don't work for you, definitely you will look for another means. Okay, thanks for the question. Uh, you already made mention of part of my answer. But uh, let me be very... Um, let me be very uh, stringent with this. Uh, let me start with this expression that I, I heard from one of my friends, that if you take, I'm going to be practical, if you take everybody, let, if you take Germany, you take Cameroon, you take everybody from Germany and put in Cameroon, and you take everybody from Cameroon and put in Germany, give them five years each, the Germans in Cameroon are going to make Germany, uh, the Germans in Cameroon are going to make Germans adorable. Whereas those, I just took Cameroon as an example, so I'm not saying Cameroon per se, it can be any other African country. Whereas those Africans in Germany are going to make, uh, they, they are going to make Germany deplorable. Why am I saying this? It's because of the mindset. It's the mindset of, it's like the mindset between the rich and the poor. What the rich man knows, the poor man doesn't know. So I don't believe that majority of Africa's problem lies with the leaders. Citizens have a very great, a very great role to play. There are countries like Cameroon, for instance, I'm Cameroonian. There are countries like Cameroon that has very good laws, but those laws are not implemented to the latter. Sure. Why? Because either some people are resistant or there are not enough mechanisms put in place. So this makes it very difficult for the leader uh, to, to be held accountable for everything that happens in the country. Each and every individual has a responsibility to play in the development of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, I'll give you a practical example. Uh, where I live uh, right now, you, if they see you throwing a piece of paper or a, a water bottle on the road, Somebody is going to stop his car and tell you that, please, pick it up. If they see you urinating beside the road, somebody is going to call 911 for you, and they are going to pick you up and lock you up for at least four months. Four but months. then, in Africa, it's a very, it's a very normal thing for you yeah. to eat uh, ice Granots, cream or to biscuits. eat shawarma and then throw the peelings every... Yes, eat your granite. As a matter of fact, one day I was in uh, one major city in Cameroon, and uh, the someone, not the driver, someone in the taxi ate banana peelings and then dropped it down in the floor of the taxi. And I said, ma'am, if this were your house, would you do this? So why believe that the, the, the public area is meant for just some other kind of people and not you as an individual? Yeah. So I believe that... In as much as African leaders need to step up their games and live with the present reality to provide opportunities for younger generation, especially in the areas of IT, in the areas of uh, other areas of development like agriculture yeah. and even uh, scientific innovation, these are some of the things that will embrace the young people. The young people are tired of writing competitive entrance examinations into public service because in most African countries, it's like the public service is the El Dorado, it's everything. Yep. But then, how many people are taking? How many people have the opportunity to get there? How many people know those who can help them to get there? So it's very difficult. So what happens now to the rest of the people? And 
in most African countries too, um, especially in Cameroon, let me say this, uh, it's just a suggestion that you see this, uh, this this money that they pay to register for competitive entrance exams that uh, are, that only 32 spaces are available, <laughs> and then you see more than 10,000 people register, register for the exams yeah. and pay uh, and certify documents, spending at least uh, 35,000 in the process. All this money goes to the government coffer. I think this should be stopped because it's like taking from those who don't have. It's like extracting, they're trying to bring water out of stone. People cannot be trying to, to get a better future with the little means that they have, and they use the money that they have. Some of them do borrow and take from their grandparents, and at the end of it, they still don't make it, yeah. and then they go back to suffering after being indebted. So to summarize, two things. African leaders need to step up their game and, and embrace the new developments invest in the youth, invest in agriculture, invest in uh, IT, invest in scientific development, encourage people, give incentives, give in incentives to schools, those who study uh, some programs, maybe like IT, agriculture. I know there's something like that going on in the University of Boya, but those who study maybe IT, agriculture, computer science, and all of those things, I think they should be given incentives. Also, the school curriculum needs to be revamped. I, I can bet you that we still have the school curriculum in Africa, in Cameroon, that make people to to go to school hoping to become an administrator or a clerical a clerical representative somewhere. That mentality needs to change, and we have to start it from the base. We have to start it from the primary school. We have to change the curriculum. We have to make it practical. Let's introduce uh, computer science. Uh, before I, before I, I finish, I just want to to. Yes, uh, the, the, there is a picture uh, that I saw on social media of one Chinese uh, Chinese uh, Chinese child with a, a motherboard of a computer. I don't know if you know that 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 thing in the computer that has those those those, those things. That's the motherboard of a computer. Now these are things that children do there, and <laughs> I was shocked when someone told me that some of the small iPads that children use in uh, in Africa. Uh, children that uh, uh, handwork that assignments of Chinese children in their primary and secondary schools. So I think these are the things that we can copy from the Western world. Let's try to make uh, Africa uh, develop in terms of science, science, scientific uh, innovations. Because trust me, the world is ruled by science. You can read all the law. You can read. In Cameroon, if you read law and you end up not becoming a lawyer, you are in trouble because there is no way that you can work. We all know how difficult it is becoming a lawyer right now. And uh, the bar exams have not been launched for a very long time now, and a lot of Cameroonians are also still waiting to do that. All that is because our mindset has been structured towards writing competitive and France examination. So let's try to disintegrate it and make it and make different different aspects of the economy of the society where the youth can engage in and lastly let us as africans de try to develop our mindset all of us let me say majority of africans have phones that are connected to the internet they are connected to, to TikTok, to facebook and to whatever they are using copy the good examples and not the bad ones copy the examples how to, you can contribute to your community here where i live Sorry, I'm taking too long, but here where I live, if you go to apply for a job and they see in your resume that you have volunteered somewhere, maybe you volunteered in the fire department or you volunteered in the street cleaning, you are going to have preference over those who have not volunteered. So they encourage that kind of community development, community engagement. So I believe that that is something that can be done in Africa too, that those who engage in community development should be given preferences when they go to look for jobs. And I really don't know, like, for how that can be implemented because the jobs, are, the jobs themselves are not really available in Africa like they are elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But then, sorry, one more thing I, I want to say about uh, what the government can do. The government should also liberalize, not liberalize completely, but reduce uh, taxation on enterprises, especially in Cameroon. Many people, many companies have wound down because 
of too much taxes. And I also believe that there should be strict regulation in uh, the control of taxation in Cameroon because many people are willing, especially those in the diaspora, are willing to invest in Cameroon. But then taxes are a deterrent. Taxes are a deterrent that most companies, when they are set up before two, three years, they are down because they cannot meet up with the tax requirement. Yeah. So those are my contributions. I think that will help uh, to make uh, Africa as a whole uh, a more better place than it is today. Exactly. And then maybe in the future can compare to the developing countries, to Thank the developed you. countries. Thank you very much, Walters. Thank you for your time. We've come to the end of the program.